Hi, everyone. Good evening and maybe good morning in some of people from USA and some of Western country. Again, welcome to PISPAR certification interview question part 2. So before we can start, I am sure to all are see my screen. We can start session now. Today, today agenda of this video we have the cover core component of the Pi Spark, second module Spark component, third Spark architecture and fourth last one how spark work i am going to explain you guys just for one minute concept of pi spark before driving deep to how to spark work let understand the jargon of the spark jobs job basically piece of code which read some input from different sources sdfs local local file perform some operation computation of data and write some output data. Next stage, stage is basically job are divided into stage. Stage are classified to map and reduce stage. It is easier to understand if you have work on Hadoop ecosystem and want to correlate. Stages are divided basically computational boundaries. Operation can be updated to single stage. It happened over many stages. Next task. Each stage has some task. One task per partition. One task execute on one partition of data on one executor machine. DAG, DAG stand for directed a cycle graph. And DAG is used for the visualization of completed jobs. When a application code is submitted to driver Implicit can convert user code to contain transformation and action into the logically directed a cycle graph called DAX. It is provide view summary of matrix to execute tasks like time taken, how much time to taken the job, job ID completed stage how many stage has completed during the operation return host ip address such type of the parameter we have the loop through the DAG. next is executor executor process respond to executing the task and master machine on the which driver program runs you can see the master slave ma machine on which executor program runs it is solved the next module is spark component spark component spark driver spark uh, driver nothing 
but layer of the spark contains vapor of the spark contains spark contains is basically used for connecting to spark cluster when you create a spark session spark contains object is basically by default created it can be accessed using spark dot spark contents you can create just one spark contents per gbm gbm per java virtual machine but create multiple spark session objects next executor executor is used for the scheduling by the driver run task schedule by the driver and is used for the store computation result output be of the store in memory disk on on heap interact with storage system be of the sdfl local be of the interact for and cluster manager cluster manager used for the resource management yarn yarn is stand for it another resource negotiator yarn is basically used for the resource management and job scheduling technology used for scheduling task to be execute on different cluster node it is work it is work be, by default fifo first in first out basis and second is stone alone stone alone cluster is contain for two worker and spark master to run in your machine task can be distributed in jbm there are two workers local mode just running everything in your same jvm in your local machine spark component spark context is same we have the connect to your cluster you can use for the create rdd accumulator browse by variable it read only variable on a cluster this part we have the cover next uh, video session uh, create rdd what is accumulator cross count variable how to use i will explain next video dag scheduler dag scheduler is that directed a cycle graph scheduler it is basically used for submit your job job task scheduler determine the performance location cache status shuffling file and local and find min five finds minimum schedule to run the jobs task scheduler responsible for to sending tasks to the cluster running them big try if any failure is observed there schedule backend schedule backend interface for scheduling system that allow plugging to different implementation the cluster manager meos yarn stone alone local black manager provide to interface putting some retrieving block both locally and remotely into the various storage memory disk on heap it is used for the storing purpose spark architecture spark architecture have the multiple part you can see the dag scheduler task scheduler and scheduler backend dag scheduler task scheduler scheduler backend you can meaningful hear that thing. and last module you can how to spark work i have calculated four step to 
for the explain to how to spark work step 1 if you write any code to spark console you create any rdd data frame data set you can apply any operation such as transformation and action these operation also be cover in next video what is transformation what is action how many types of transformation and action spark created operation graph if you write any spark code create rdd data frame data set then spark created operation graph when user run the action such action like collect then graph submitted dag scheduler dag scheduler divided operation graph into map and reduce stages then stages is compressed and task base of the partition the input data drag scheduler pipeline operation together the optimize the graph many map operation can be scheduled in the single stage the optimization is key spark performance the final result drag scheduler is set of the stage and third is stage are the pass the task scheduler task scheduler launch to the cluster manager spark stand alone yarn meos resource manager call to resource manager then task scheduler doesn't know about the dependency upon the stages then last uh, executor task it is for storing and block to return to outputs of the worker and to return the output of the requester okay thanks guys thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe to my channel right we are good to exist our session after watching the session please provide your feedback write in comment box excellent or average again thanks you everyone please subscribe to my channel thanks everyone